for a second just feel like I've been go 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 for the past two weeks with 23rd stuff um, and I feel like I haven't even been like posting on my Instagram as much so I'm excited to slow down a little bit and get back into the swing of things I'm not doing anything this weekend I'm having a, having a very very chill relaxing weekend I actually haven't vlogged since I've gone to Noosa and I came home um, for that little trip to see my family for my dad's birthday but basically, yeah, since I got back from Noosa, I was kind of a little bit out of whack with my routine and I like fell off a little bit. Um, so I've just been trying to get back into a good routine this week um, and it's going well. I start, I went to the gym. I've been to the gym like every day this week um, and trying to eat really healthy and stuff. So I feel like I'm starting to get back into a good routine. Um, I also didn't say this anywhere on any of my socials, but um, the reason I also flew home to Noosa recently which i didn't vlog but you would have seen it on my stories that i was there but basically my family had a bit of a health scare with my brother it was actually a really big scary health scare but it all came back fine in the end but for about two weeks there it was really really scary for a second um so i flew home to see my family and i think that as well was like just on top of everything else like getting that news plus work was just crazy I was just like it was a lot and then also I ended up in hospital last Friday night I was literally in hospital like I have just so much to update you guys on but yeah I ended up in hospital last Friday um, because I thought I had the same thing that I had when I was hospitalized for like a week two years ago if you remember that old vlog from ages ago I ended up in hospital with septicemia like two years ago and I thought I had it again but it came back clear as well. But anyways, I'm at my agency now. I have to go pick up some packages. I have so much work to do. I've got a lot of like personal um, campaigns and content to shoot. So I'm actually flying home next week as well to see, to stay in Brisbane and shoot some content. I'm flying home next weekend. So yeah, that's my life, that's my life update for you guys. I'm going out for dinner tonight. Um, but apart from that, I'm having a very wholesome, low-key weekend. But I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope everyone's healthy and happy. And that is basically all I have right now. So, yeah. Actually home. I just picked up all my packages. I'll show you them. I just left them at my front door. So I have, I have two here from Beauty Brand. So we have one package here from Tom Ford which I'm so excited about. I actually have no idea what they sent me so let's open it up together. <gasps> Stop! Oh my god guys. They sent me the fucking fabulous perfume. I'm so excited about that. And then I also have a lip colour. This is in the shade Spanish Pink. And then I also have the Eye Color Quad, which is so exciting. I cannot wait to try these. I'm going out for dinner. Like, like I told you guys earlier, I'm going out for dinner tonight. So maybe I can do a little Tom Ford makeup look. And I'll show you guys the finished result. But oh my god, I'm so stoked about that. Thank you so much. I love, love, love those products. This has been on my wish list, the perfume, for such a long time, so I'm so, so grateful. A package here from Giorgio Armani. I'm currently working on a campaign with Giorgio Armani, so I'm not sure if this is part of it or not, but we have a card. And then in here, then it comes in this beautiful pink box. It says, what does it say on the front? Armani. 
on the front. Up, you guys. Oh my gosh, wow. That is stunning. So it's the My Way Perfume by Giorgio Armani. Lots of perfume today. And oh my gosh, this PR package is so gorge. Wow. I'm obsessed. So thank you so much, Giorgio Armani, as well. Um, I also want to show you guys, I actually went into cassette the other day and did a whole heap of and did a really big styling shoot pull for New York and I'll show you guys the bag that I got. So Sarah and I went into their store in the rocks on Tuesday this week and basically we just did a really big styling pull for New York and just selected a whole heap of um, bags that we're going to be taking with us to New York to shoot the new 23rd campaigns and also a little bit of my personal content. So this is the first bag stunning YSL and then I got this Prada no then we got this Fendi one so cute I had this in the beige color quite recently and I wore it to an event um last week and I'm obsessed with it it's such a good bag and then what else do we have in here um we got a Bottega pouch this is a mess oh this is a little Bottega purple mini Jody. So cute. You guys are going to see all of this in my New York vlogs. Um, and you'll be able to see like how I style everything. But yeah, it's making me very excited. Like even just when we were there, we are like planning all the different new collection pieces that we're launching for 23rd with like different colors and stuff. So it was very fun. Hint, hint. Um, what else do we have here? Another Bottega. This is another Bottega bag. We got this white one. This is the cassette bag. So pretty. I'm obsessed with that. All of these in New York are just going to be so fire. I just can't wait. Lots of Bottega. We've got this Bottega pouch. So I was thinking like under the shoulder moment like that could be cute. Um, and then there's one more. I got a little mini Balenciaga out of the bag which I just thought was so cute and fun. I don't know where it is. Oh. And then this one, I just thought, could be so cute for like nights out. So it's a little mini Balenciaga, like, pouch bag. So those are all of the pieces that we are taking with us to New York. I can't wait to shoot all of them. This is probably my fave, I think. I actually want to buy this. I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's such a classic bag. So if you guys want my designer handbag recommendation, I would say this YSL one because it's just so cute but anyways that's everything that I want to show you guys I had more packages in the studio that oh my god I haven't even showed you guys the studio this vlog is full of updates wow um, but yeah there's another um, couple PR not PR um, packages in the studio that I'm shooting for work which isn't very exciting but I'll go take this back into the studio and I will show you guys what it's looking like because it's had a huge huge makeover um, and it's now officially our podcast studio. No longer my spare room, which is very cool. Um, maybe I'll actually shower and stuff before I show you that. I think I might like get myself feeling a little bit better, shower, do some skincare, and then uh, we can get started with our day because I'm actually doing a really big wardrobe decluttering today for the new seasons coming up. Obviously, we're now in spring in Sydney, so I want to go through and like just cull a whole heap of things in my wardrobe, and I thought that could be fun for you guys to watch. Um, what I do and how I choose and how I basically yeah keep my wardrobe always refreshed um, I like to always have a very capsule wardrobe um, not too much clutter so that's our plan today and I'll also show you guys the studio in a little bit but I'm just gonna go shower and get myself feeling a little bit more presentable because right now I look like a hot mess I haven't had my hair done in such a long time I'm waiting until just before we leave because I want to get it colored so it's really fresh when we go away um, so if you guys are wondering why it's so dark, that's why. It's also like tainted orange around my hairline because obviously fake tan, makeup. And if you have really blonde hair, you would know that your hairline always ends up getting stained, which is so annoying. <laughs> but it's okay. I just did a little mini unboxing on my stories, but I wanted to show you guys again how stunning. This package is from Giorgio Armani. I love the flowers. And this perfume is honestly to die for. I've been working on this campaign for 
a little while now and I am so in love with this perfume. If you guys want a good recommendation, definitely recommend this. It's very florally and pretty and I think it's perfect for spring. And then Tom Ford Beauty the makeup products to show you guys. So I think I'm going to do a look with this tonight. These are like my dream eyeshadow shades and this lipstick is divine. This is in the shade. What shade is this? Spanish pink and honestly the perfect pink shade. Just having some lunch. It's kind of like breakfast for lunch. I had a protein bar this morning at the office when I was like stocking it. And now I'm having yogurt and banana with music. I feel like it's starting to finally heat up enough where I can actually have my yogurt again because previously in winter it was so cold that I just didn't even want to eat it. Um, this set that I'm wearing right now, two piece green sets from Kukai. Another permanent update before we go to the studio is I actually changed the prints here. I don't know if you, so that, that used to have the 3D textured artwork, but I changed it out for the black and white prints, which used to be in the old spare room office. Um, but now we've got something else in there, so I'll show you guys. But yeah, I just decided to put the black and white prints there because I wanted to incorporate a little bit more black in the apartment, especially out here. So the old 3D textured artwork is currently in my room on my floor, and I'm going to see if I can try and get someone to hang it for me this weekend like i might put it on air tasker and see if someone can come hang it because i want to put it in the wall like as you go into my room on that side so there's like some artwork on that little like entryway to go into my room because right now there's nothing really in my room i honestly don't know if i can take myself seriously with this towel on my head i'm gonna take this off hang on you can always tell when i need to get my hair done again as soon as it starts to fit in a claw clip but anyways i just wanted to quickly mention that today's video is actually sponsored by case to so thank you so much case to for partnering with me on today's video and if you guys if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you would already know the drill but every phone case i have on my phone ever is always from case to this one that i currently have is a plain black one this one is from case to and i also just wanted to show you guys three more that i have here got a bit of a blue theme going on which i thought was fun um obviously going into spring i wanted to have some nice like colorful vibrant cases just a little bit of background info about case to if anyone is not familiar with the brand really high quality cases the new cases that they have which are designed for the iphone 14 actually has technology in them called eco shock and it's military grade protection it actually can be dropped from up to 11.5 feet and it will not crack which is just insane so that really does go to show how how high quality these cases are and how amazing they are at actually protecting your phone if you do happen to drop it. The new iPhone 14 cases are also very slim and sleek. They don't feel big and bulky in your hand. Also, the new iPhone 14 cases use up to 65% recycled and plant-based materials. I'll show you guys a close-up um, in a second of my custom case, but Casetify does really amazing customization, so you can really personalize your own phone case to make it feel like it's yours. But these are some of the cases that I had to show you. So we have this one here, which is a print case as you can see naked woman I just thought it was cool um, and different and then this one is a clear blue case and then this one is a customized case so as you can see I've got my initials MW on it I'm gonna put this phone case on and show you guys just how incredible the technology is in these cases at protecting your phone and it's honestly fun. So whether you are upgrading your iPhone to the new iPhone 14 or not, you can head to casetify.com to check out their latest iPhone 14 case series or also just shop all of the iPhone 13 or below cases as well. They have so many to choose from. And you can also go to casetify.com forward slash Madison to get 15% off your order. I'm going to keep this case on. I love this. I think it's time to switch it up. I've had the black one for a long time. Um, and let's go in and I'll show you guys the new studio because I have been talking about it nonstop in this vlog and you guys are probably just like, show me already. Okay, guys, I present to you our podcast studio. So... Still a work in progress, but I've been so excited to show you guys. So this is what it is currently looking like. We actually had our first guest episode in here this week, earlier on Monday. Um, we had the lovely Bianca, who's the owner of Myra Swim. She's been on Forbes 30 Under 30, literally such an icon. I'm obsessed with her. Um, so she came into the studio and we did a recording with her and it was just so much fun. It's such a functional space now, which I love. Um, also, these all the furniture actually is from Broza. 
um, and they have been such an incredible help setting the studio up and really, really recommend. Like, look how cute these couches are. I'm obsessed. The coffee table is also from Broza and such high quality, really affordable prices as well. So if anyone is on the hunt for a nice piece of furniture, I would definitely recommend. Like, this is velvet pink and I'm just in love. I love the space. So obviously our color theme is pink. Um, it was inspired by Caitlin's hair. So that's what we went for. Basically, like the whole branding of Girl Code is just like pink energy. So I did say we're going to have fun in this room and I feel like we're definitely doing that. We also have a pink neon sign, which I'm yet to hang up. I need some help um, hanging this up because there's like electricals and it has to be plugged in on the wall up here. So that's where it's going to go. But that is this weekend's task. So I'm going to try and hang the painting and this this weekend. Um, or more likely get someone to do it on air tasker lol because I cannot do that But yeah, this is what it's looking like. So we have like official lights the mics the setup We have our cute little Voss Recording water bottles and I'm just really really happy with the space. Caitlin and I record basically every Tuesday in here um, So before I head to work at 9 we'll come in early have coffee record um, I think we'll also probably do some night recordings as well so we can get full use of the neon sign. But yeah, this is the podcast studio, guys. I still have the mirror in this corner over here and then there's a spare mic. Um, and we're actually going to get a third chair for guests, for when guests come in so they can have their own personal chair here. But we just have to still order that yet to be received. Um, and right now it's kind of like my work. Right now it's still kind of like my work dumping ground, shoot stuff, and then this is like my work rack, which I still need to have in this room because obviously I need to like hang out all of the pieces that I'm shooting for campaigns and for brands and just like shoot content. So the rack is still staying, but on this side we will have another pink chair. I also think we're going to order it from Broza. They have the same fabric and color but in a different style chair, so I think that will be cute to kind of tie in. While I'm here, I will also show you so this is the painting that used to be in the main living room where those black prints are now and I just feel like it was super neutral out there which I'm not mad about. You guys know I love my neutrals but I did want to have a little bit more black. I feel like as I get older I am starting to appreciate a little bit more. Not appreciate, I feel like I'm starting to find my own personal design style a little bit more as I get older and I'm having a little bit more fun with colour and statement pieces and as much as I loved like the all white vibe for a really long time as we all know um i'm just having a little bit more fun with it like i really want to get some more artwork i've been eyeing off this one piece of art that is blue it's like this cobalt blue and it's this 3d textured art and i think i'm gonna get that at some point soon um it is a little bit pricey but yeah i just feel like i'm starting to get i'm starting to find myself like my pinterest boards are changing a little bit um, and I find myself leaning towards a little bit more eclectic pieces and statement pieces, like a mix of statement and neutral pieces. So anyways, that's my little like life update. I don't know, whatever. Um, but this piece I thought would be nice on this wall here. Also update on my room. I don't know if this is really aggressive and I know we're coming into spring, but I wanted to get black bed sheets, but I don't think that's the energy for spring. I wish I did it for winter but maybe next winter I'll get black bed sheets. I'm just like really into black right now. But I do want to get some new sheets for spring slash summer. As much as I've loved having the white ones, these are flannel sheets and they are really, really warm. They're so soft and comfy, but they are like a heavier sheet. So I think as it starts to heat up, I'm going to need something a little bit lighter. And I was thinking a color, but I don't know what color I used to have. I used to have yellow ones, um, which I can obviously put back on, but... I don't know, I was thinking a different colour. So if you guys have any recommendations for fun, colourful sheets you think in here, let me know. Maybe like an apricot. I did want to do black, like I said, but it's too aggressive, I think. So I'll save that for winter next year when I maybe move apartments. Like in my new apartment, I might get black sheets. Yeah, it'll be like June, July that I'll move next year, which would be perfect. Um, but until then, let me know. Probably not green, probably not blue. Maybe apricot. Could put the yellow back on. Don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, and I also just moved my YouTube plaque into here because it used to be in the office slash spare room, but it doesn't really go with the podcast studio. So that's just chilling down there and all my books. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all of the apartment updates that I had to give you guys. So this is what the frames look like out here. The sun's like reflecting on 
them a little bit but I just really love it I think it adds something a little bit more to the space rather than just being super neutral um, and obviously Audrey Hepburn is like my style icon and this is a photo of Soho in New York and if you guys keep up with like my brand's journey 23rd of Madison that's my personal clothing brand um, it's really inspired by New York City so it just felt right that we've got breakfast at Tiffany's in New York and so have these flowers the roses from Giorgio Armani in this really pretty vase and I like the look of it very happy with everything I feel like it just really feels like my type of space my dream space right now I also put my book back out as well um, which has been this book has been tucked under here for a while but I just decided it was time to bring my coffee table book back because I was starting to forget that I even wrote this. This is my coffee table book. I wrote it when I was 23, so it would have been just over a year ago that I launched this. 23 things I think I know. This was such a fun project that I worked on for so, so long, um, and I just decided that it needed to be put back. That is all of the apartment updates that I had to get. I am going to get started, well not started, I'm going to continue on for the rest of my work day now before I have to get ready for dinner later. Oh, I wanted to do a wardrobe decluttering this afternoon, didn't I? That's right. Let me do some work. I've got to do some things on my laptop and then we'll move into my room and basically like clear out my whole wardrobe because there's a lot of winter pieces that I want to put down into storage or I want to donate. Um, I actually had a beautiful follower of mine DM me not that long ago and she saw in a previous vlog that I had mentioned that I was clearing out my wardrobe and she messaged me and she's a high school teacher um, from a high school out west I believe and she basically said that if I was donating them she would love to take it to the students and I replied and I was like oh my god I would love to help out like of course so she actually came to my apartment and I gave her like six bags of clothes to take these high school students and that made me really really happy so i think i might message her again she actually messaged me recently and said if there's any more clothes let me know so i think i'll try and put together as many as i can i went out and bought more bean bags yesterday so i'll see if i can like fill up like five or six of these to donate to her because that made me feel really happy that i could actually help out in some way. Update on the wardrobe situation. I just went through and culled two bags full of clothes that I still love. Like it's so, I find it really hard to cull my clothes because I literally love all of the pieces but I just know that I'm not going to get enough wear out of them. So I went through and I think I took maybe like 15 tops out um, and then just left all of the ones that I think I'll still get wear out of or that are really like basic pieces. Pieces that are really good for layering. Um... For layering, I think my number one tip, especially if you live in an apartment like I do, I mean, I have a lot of wardrobe space compared to my old apartments that I've been in. Um, in this apartment, I have a lot of wardrobe space, but even still, there's not like a huge amount of wardrobe space. Um, so tip is to have high quality staple basic pieces. So that's, as you guys can see, like majority of my wardrobe here is white, nude, and black there's a few colorful tops at the front we've got like khaki um this like rat and boa piece that i wear all the time um like one yellow top in there and then the rest is all white a little bit of neutrals and then some black also some brown as well just because these are the pieces that i can always like rewear and restyle in my pants area then this is the other side of my wardrobe sorry i'm like trying to lean back to show you guys but here we have all of my pants which i'm such a pants type of gal like i love a nice pair of pants with a simple top um we've got some jeans jeans up there which i have culled previously i used to have so many pairs of denim jeans i don't I mean, obviously, there's still a lot, but there's actually not that many compared to what it used to be. I have my khaki pants and cargos, um, white, and then, like, beige, neutral, black, brown, some, like, graphic ones, and then all of my black pants, which are, like, the main ones that I pretty much always wear. Um, and then in these drawers, this is, like, my, this is my shorts and skirt area which again I don't have that many pieces of. I think I could get rid of. Uh, would I wear this again? Like this is the thing. This is what I struggle with. I'm always like would I wear this again? Would you really wear that again Maddie? I don't know. I do really like the tie on this but it's just a little bit long. 
so I'm not sure. I guess I could like fold it over. Yeah, you can fold it over. Okay. Um, I will keep that for now, but most of these things I still wear. I've done like a massive cull in the past of all of these pieces and basically it's only really the ones that I like love now that are in here. I have so many trackies. Let's get rid of some of these actually. This can go like winter trackies that I just know I'm not going to wear anymore. So go through and clear this out. <laughs> This black one is definitely staying. It's my favorite hoodie of all time. Okay. That brown one can go. That one can stay. Okay, I just cleared out all of these tracky sets, which I just know that going into spring and summer, I'm not going to wear as much as I as much as I should, so I just like they'd be better off in a better home, put to a better use. My hair is like not quite long enough for this clip. Okay, the last side is all of my dresses. Again, doesn't look like I have culled it that much, but I really did, I swear. Um, I went through and took out a whole heap of pieces that I just know that I'm not going to get a lot of wear out of coming into the warmer months some fun spring pieces i just moved to this um blue dress that was in the studio room into here so i've got like some blue color spring summer fun pieces in here a lot of white neutrals and then of course black pieces so these are the other two bags of clothes that i've cleared out so i'm going to go ahead and get another um bin bag and stack them up also i have so many 23rd of madison samples that Obviously, it's not the final thing. It's just a sample that I have in my wardrobe. So I'm like, I don't know what to do with all my old sample pieces. Like, I guess just donate them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. That's an old 23rd of Madison sample. There's a few more in there. I think I've got a sample trench coat in there somewhere too. I also unboxed a package that I got recently from White Fox. So this is all new pieces that I'm going to be shooting. You guys will see everything in an upcoming haul very soon as well. I'm really excited. I literally got like three new pairs of pants. Like I said, I'm such a pants girl. And there's a little bit of like fun color. Okay guys, I'm getting ready for dinner. I'm nearly ready. And I wanted to show you the Tom Ford lip shade that i showed you guys in the pr package that i unboxed this afternoon i used the eyeshadow on my eyes tonight and i'm absolutely obsessed love it so for lips so for lips i'm using my charlotte tilbury lip liner this is like my go-to literally every time I'm using one of my new bags tonight too i'm so excited i'll show you guys my ottn in a second but going in with the tom ford lip color tonight Oh my god, wow. Wow. That is incredible. I love this product so much. Okay. Hair is like, my fringe is being a little bit funny tonight, but it is what it is. But this is the lip shade. I love it. It's so nice. I'm obsessed. Anyways, I gotta go. I am running a little bit late. So I have to bounce, but this is the outfit. I'm actually wearing all white fox. So the top is from a white fox. And then I'm also wearing these like cargo pants that I was kind of showing you guys before, but they are also from white fox. My new YSL bag. And then makeup is basically all the same, except I use the new Tom Ford quad palette on my eyes and I love it. And then the new Tom Ford lip. And I also love it. OOTN, this is what the look ended up as i was going to wear the maxi skirt with this top um this top has a matching skirt that has the same fabric it's like a really stretchy slinky fabric but i just ended up going for the pants because i felt more comfortable in them tonight the skirt was like a tight fitting one and just, as much as i love it it's kind of the time of the month um so i'm feeling really bloated and i just feel like black pants were more of the vibe for tonight so this is the outfit my favorite shoes ever. These are like my princess poly heels and I wear them basically every single time I go out anywhere. But yeah, this is the look with the bag. 
really cute this is such a me look i feel very comfortable in this um so yeah i'm gonna head out for dinner i'll bring my camera it fits in my bag tonight so i can show you guys a little bit of what i get up to um if i remember to film the food hopefully i do so i'll show you guys what i get up to but i'm really excited and i'm obsessed with this makeup seriously if you guys want a really good nice nudie pink lip color i definitely recommend this one it's so so good mm -hmm.